I'm uh, what, 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 what? Dame got traded where? For who? What? I can't stop saying what. I've been saying oh my gosh for like, how long has it been since since Woj tweeted three minutes? I've been saying oh my gosh for three minutes straight. What just happened, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Haven't been doing too much NBA stuff, too much NBA reacting, but Damian Lillard. Let's read it, ladies and gentlemen, from Adrian Wojnarowski himself. Lillard goes to Milwaukee as part of a three-team deal with Drew Holiday, DeAndre Ayton, Tumani Kamara, a 29, 2029 unprotected Milwaukee first, and unprotected Milwaukee swap rights in 2020 and 2030 to the Blazers. Basically, the Blazers are just getting a bunch of draft capital. Phoenix lands Yusuf Nurkic, Grayson Allen, Nasir Little, and Keon Johnson. Um, okay, this is a lot to take in. This is a lot to take in in one moment. First of all, I mean, look at this. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at this. This just looks crazy in itself. First of all, I don't think anybody was talking about the Milwaukee Bucks as a possible landing spot for Dame. I sure as hell didn't hear anything about it. I mean, the fact that they were even in the running is kind of crazy to me, and it just never, it never came to the surface, I guess. But man, let's talk about the fit of Dame and Giannis real quick. I, I mean, I love it. You know, you're giving up the defense in the backcourt, obviously, um, getting rid of Drew Holiday in this deal, but you get Damian Lillard. I mean, we don't even have to go down the list of Lillard's accomplishments. I believe he's a seven-time All-Star NBA 75th anniversary team. We know we know who Damian Lillard is, and we know what Damian Lillard does. He averaged 32 points last season. I mean, pairing him with arguably the best player in the league in Giannis, I think the fit is perfect. I think their play styles are going to complement each other beautifully. And man, I mean, Giannis, the, the Bucks deliver on a reason to get Giannis to stick around. I mean, the, the extension talks for Giannis are going to heat up like crazy now. Let's talk about the other side of this for a little bit because I'm, I'm way too caught up in the idea of Damian Lillard and Giannis playing together. I mean, that is so cool to even think about. But uh, the Suns are getting use of Nurkic out of this. They're obviously getting rid of DeAndre Ayton, but they're getting use of Nurkic. They're getting Grayson Allen. Um, those are two guys that will probably play right away. I think Nasir Little and Keon Johnson, with how thin the Suns' depth is, are obviously going to compete for you know playing time right away. I think that's a great trade for Phoenix. Um, getting off of DeAndre Ayton, getting rid of that drama is, is just going to be good for the locker room. And adding depth is, is what they needed to do for him. Did they give up any... Did they end up giving any picks up? I don't think so. Yeah, it looks like the only... The only team that gave up picks in this was Milwaukee. And obviously they have to do that because they're getting Dame. I mean, this this is a great trade for Phoenix. You, you get away from DeAndre Ayton and you add those four guys that are going to give you immediate depth. Huge W for Phoenix, in my opinion. Now let's talk about the Blazers, bro. Let's talk about the Blazers. The Blazers move on officially from Damian Lillard. They're going all in, you would think, on the Scoot Henderson future. But now, you know, the Blazers add, let's, let's, let's go down the list of people that the Blazers add. So Shams actually just tweeted it. The Blazers are adding Drew Holiday, DeAndre Ayton, Tumani Kamara, the 20, and then all, and then all the picks, bro. Obviously Damian Lillard's on the out, right? But this backcourt still remains loaded. You're adding Drew Holiday, who, I mean, I assume they're going to have to find minutes for, you're going to have to play him, bro. Drew Holiday's still a really good player. He, he's arguably, you know, a fringe all-star every season. He's a perennial all-defensive kind of guy. There's no way he's not going to play. Plus, he could be great for, you know, the backcourt where you already have uh, Anthony Simons and then arguably, you know, your entire future in Scoot Henderson. But those are also three guys where, you know, you're going to have to stagger minutes and it might get a little bit weird at times. Either way, um, adding DeAndre Ayton, I think, is really cool. Getting off of use of Nurkic. Uh, Nurkic is a little bit older. They've had Nurkic around for a while. He was part of the, the Dame teams that never really just worked out. But getting Aiton in there, you know, Kamara's a solid player. Uh, he'll probably find some minutes. This is crazy, bro. I, I, don't, I don't even really know what to think. We got a, another tweet from Chris Haynes here in a Fresno barbershop. Let's pull it up for you guys. In a Fresno barbershop called Phase 2 a few months ago, Giannis Antetokounmpo was asked of the one player he would like to play with. His response was Damian Lillard. I mean, this is just crazy. This is an absolute bomb. This is something that I know I've been waiting on. And if you guys are NBA fans, I know you guys have been waiting on this too. Yo, if you guys are new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe and uh, drop a like. I feel like when uh, when big news like this happens, I need to turn on the camera and just start talking and give my reaction to it. 
So um, that's what we're going to start doing. If you guys enjoy, like I said, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you back here for another video next time. Peace out.